Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool three-slot payphone. This is a Western Electric and it's a 223G. And this is Brendan's telephone from Indiana. And he's got the... Uh, payphone, the backboard, and the bell box. So he's got a very cool situation here and uh, he has a, a vault door there that you see and it has no lock so we need to get a lock for the vault door. We also need to get a body key. And just give you a look at this because this is the initial checkout. It's a very cool telephone. It's got a nice informational card. And so what we're going to be doing with this telephone is we're going to go ahead and convert it. Now we're going to go ahead and get rid of this handset. Uh, Brendan has sent along another handset more to the period of this telephone. So it's a very cool look and uh, it's going to be a really nice telephone and it's got a straight handset cord on it. So it's going to turn out really nice. He's got a, a really cool setup. And uh, we're going to take a look at the bell here. We want to go ahead and uh, make sure that his bell is going to work. And we're going to install a modular port inside the bell. And that way he can simply plug this telephone in at the bell and uh, there will be a port there that he can plug a line cord into and it will run the bell and it will also feed the phone. We have the body loose so I'm going to go ahead and take that off and show it to you. It's clearly marked 223G and we'll be rewiring this telephone and doing everything that's necessary to convert it. I want to give you a look at the inside of the body and that's your coin validator. So he's got a really cool setup here and you don't see these very often with a backboard. I want to go ahead and put my upper body on you don't see many of these with a backboard, so that's a plus. Very cool situation. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break. Be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with this telephone. And so basically all Brendan has to do now, since we've added a modular port to the bell, which also feeds the telephone, uh, all he has to do now is walk up to this telephone with a line cord, any length, any color, and he can simply plug and play. So then you can just take your cover and replace your cover. We'll go ahead and put the cover on real quick. And now the telephone is ready to go. And uh, we'll go ahead and ring the telephone. We'll let that go a few times. Since that's one of the issues, the bell needed to be connected. We'll go ahead and answer the telephone, give you some dial tone, and we're going to go ahead and take a short break because we want to set the telephone up and do our final checks. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now what we can do is run through some of our final checks, and we're going to kind of go over what was done to this telephone. And so we went through the rotary 
uh, oiled, cleaned, and adjusted it. And as you can see, it's dialing properly now, and it has a smooth return. So that's proper now. And we also installed a handset uh, that Brendan sent along that's more to the period, uh, an F1. So that looks nice on the telephone. And we also had to get a body key, and we also had to get a vault lock and key. So that's all proper now. And we went through the coin validator and made sure all the coins were dropping through. And we also rewired this telephone the way we needed it wired so that it will work for home use. And so now what we can do is go ahead and ring the telephone. I'll let that go one more time. Give you some dial tone. And we also want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time that red light lights, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. So we know that this telephone is ringing. It has receive. It has transmit. Now what we can do is we'll go ahead and walk through our numbers. So if you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers rack off. I'm going to end in a 2, and we'll go ahead and hang up. Now, I have a switch box here down by the analyzer, and I can go ahead and go over to a regular line. We'll get a regular line out, give you some dial tone, and we'll call a time and temp number. Okay, now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, you know, we can return this to Brendan and he can start enjoying his telephone. He's got a really cool setup here with this Western Electric 223G. And uh, we're going to get a still picture of the informational card. That's really cool, and he's got a nice dial center ring. Now, we could go ahead and drop some money through this telephone, and I want to kind of balance it and hold it level. Go ahead and put another quarter. Quarters are going to gong. I'll go ahead and do one more. I want to hold the telephone, and I want to get some dimes. And dimes are going to ring the bell twice. We'll go ahead and do one more dime. We'll do some nickels. They'll ring the bell once.
And if any coins get caught into the coin validator, the uh, coin return does work. So that's a good thing. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. This is Brendan's Telephone from Indiana. Thank you for watching and have a great day.